Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to check out a game called Swordbreaker. This is almost like a choose-your-own-adventure type of game. You'll read the narrative of the story and everything, and then you pick what kind of action or choice you want to do. So it's kind of like a like a, like a a story, I guess. Not so much an action-packed game, but I thought it was interesting enough. So it's called Swordbreaker. A long time ago, there was a young adventurer somewhere in a parallel universe. His name was Swordbreaker. So if this is your first time coming to the channel... Welcome. If you already have been subbed and you haven't been here in a while because you think that I haven't been uploading, YouTube algorithm. So why don't you enable notifications so you can be alerted when I upload. Like, comment, describe, <laughs> sub describe, subscribe, and uh, comment. Throw some engagement so YouTube will start working to show you the content you want to see. So here we go. After a long and tiring journey, the hero approached a huge ancient castle. From the look of it, the castle had been abandoned many centuries ago, but something gave him a mysterious feeling he wasn't alone. The adventurer saw an open window on the second floor. Which way to go? Walk through the gates or through the window? So one, two. Let's let's do uh let's do through the window. Let's just see what happens. Let's have fun. Let's be zany. It took the hero a lot of effort to climb up the second floor in his armor. Now he was in a guardroom just above the castle gate. It looked like there had been a fight here. Dead warriors, or rather their skeletons, were scattered on the floor. Suddenly, one of the skeletons moved, tried to stand up, raising. Kick the skeleton, jump out the window, or wait. Let's kick the skeleton. The hero didn't wait for the enemy to get up and took a running kick at the frail skeleton. The bones crunched and smashed into smithereens. Sword fell on the floor. What should the adventure do? Take the sword or walk to the door? Let's take the sword. The adventurer entered the barracks unabashed. Now he had two swords. The hero was ready for any battle. There were broken beds, chairs, and other pieces of furniture scattered around the barracks. Then he saw four skeleton guards with their swords at the ready. What should he do? Throw the sword at them and finish them? Fight with the two swords? Let's uh, let's fight with the two. Hero decided to fight with both swords. At the right moment, the adventurer made his way between the two guards to come in half before they could do anything. Flawless victory. Look at this. I am a freaking sword master. Armory was a big chamber with weapon racks, armor stands along the walls. Apart from the bows, swords, and shields put in order, the armory was a sorry sight with huge holes in the floor. I just saw two doors, one at the end of the room, one on the right. Should the hero open the door? I want some weapons, man. Let's check out the racks. Here was absorbing the weapons. He didn't hear the floorboards creaking under his weight. Before he knew it, the floor collapsed. Venture woke up in a pile of hair with his hand smeared in someone's poop. What a stench. The place... Badly needs a cleaning. Somewhere in there. Um, a pig? Kill a pig? Escape? Let's kill the pig. Venture decided to kill a boar, but how? Should he sneak up or slit his throat or whistle? Let's, uh, stealth. The hero didn't thought it would be better to kill a boar quietly singing behind him, but animals can hear really well, so the adventure was close enough. Beast gave him a bad kick in the nuts. The hero fell, doubled over in pain. The boar sank his tusk into his neck. So I just died. So now we can restart. Let's call the boar. Sneaking up with the dirty trick, thought the hero. Hey, you pig. Boar turned around and his eyes filled with blood. It was a huge, scary beast. With... See, so it gives you a chance. If you fail, it goes back to the thing. So I guess there's no real way to have a game over. I think you could you could just make your way. As the hero was treating some new pile of shit, slipped and fell on his back. The boar is quick to take advantage and attack him. Okay. Um, make a dive. Jumped out of the way. The boar ran past the hero dashed the pig, chop his head off, or let him come closer. Let's let's wait till he's closer. The adventurer thought he should wait. When the boar took a run and jump, he dodged attack, punches sword breaker with his left hand, killing the boar. Now the adventurer would go on. He entered the door and found himself in the storeroom, the entrance to the carpentry shop. Um, let's rest. The adventurer was so exhausted that the idea of taking an apple and soft salad dust was irresistible. He lay down and fell asleep in no time at all, but never woke up again. While he was sleeping, Timbernator, the killer android, walked through the workshop door as soon as he said intruder detected starting. Wow. So I died. You were a human. Alright. So I guess I made a mistake. Let's let's go through the window again. And let's choose our options. Let's kick the skeleton. Take the sword. Let's uh fight him. Let's choose the right door. Whoop! Pulled the handle, letting you know the door is full of closet weapons. So I guess it gives you two fuck ups. Behind the door was another armory with shiny suits, a hanger, and 
So one of them moves. Should adventure take a closer look at the armor or get a move on? Let's let's get out of here. Hero got away from moving the armor and went into a long hallway with holes in the walls and piles of human bones floor. Should he run or crawl across the hall? Let's uh let's crawl. Which probably there's something wrong with the hallway and was right about that. As he's crawling, giant buzzsaws went whizzing where my head would have been. The hero entered a large smithy. There was a hearth and anvil and other tools any smith has. On the walls of adventure saw swords, shields, parts of armor, some weird long pipes. Blacksmith wasn't in. He walked through the door which said recreation or bang. Bang on the pipe? Let's go recreation. Sandra so saw, saw a sad, bulky man in black bins and a couch. Large sledgehammer prop nearby. How I need your help, friends. Two you guys send my prince to the mine and get some uranium. He hasn't come back yet. Should I help him? Okay, I'll help you. Follow me. I'll show you the way to the mine, said the smith. Led the way. To get the spider, take the tunnel on the right. Don't touch the spider. Just rescue the boy and come back as fast as you can. All right. Uh, take the door to the right. Cobwebs, cocoons. Go on or cut one of the cocoons. Let's walk on. See here. Here, here, here something moving in the ceiling. The darkness appeared a huge spider along with two smaller ones. They went down on the cobweb. Ran towards the adventure and the big spider trailing behind the small ones with the jaws open. What should the hero do? Kick one or sword strike? Let's sword strike. Hero made decided to kill the spiders. They were too fast. The bugs outflanked and jumped at me from both sides. Okay. Um, kick it. Kicked one of the smaller spiders, aiming right into its leader's mouth. While the big spider was busy chewing its prey, the second bug attacked the adventure. Should cut it into it, kick it to the far end. Uh, kick it. Nope. <laughs> Looks like I died. All right, not bad. So it does has a lot of the replay value with its different paths and stuff like that. Let's look at the castle map. Wow, look at all these. So there's all these options. All these little question marks are each an option that you could choose a different scene. So that is actually really interesting. I think this actually has a lot of replay value. Let's actually go through the door this time. I did not go through the gate. So here we go. Here found himself in the courtyard. It was in ruins and desolation. Everything was covered with a thick layer of dust. Mon the clutter. He noticed a man holding the sewers. There's also a door nearby. Let's go through the door. Ooh, look at this girl. Through the oak doors, the hero cautiously stepped into a spacious hall. Armor, weapons hanging on the wall, torn curtains. It seemed there was no one there. All of a sudden, a ghost of a naked girl appeared out of thin air. She flew up and said, Smack her ass. Let's smack her ass. The hero gave a maid a good smack in the ass he used with the tavern girls. Dumbfounded, the maid let a piercing shriek so shrill the hero's eardrums burst and his head exploded. <laughs> What's this castle called? Who's the owner? Castle wants to Neo the Fourth. He spends all his time in the treasury full of stone jewels. He hasn't left the vault with the biggest and most expensive diamond in the world for more than 1,500 years. He asked me not to disturb him. All right. Where's the library? Follow me, said the maid. Venture entered a huge library filled with ancient books and scrolls. There must be something worthwhile if you read it, but the hero knew nothing about books and could hardly spell. The library was dead silent at the end of the hall door which said, uh, let's go to the librarian. The hero is in the librarian's office. He accidentally knocked a book down. Stay where you are, you dumbhead. In the library, keep it down, you. The work like creature howled when he heard the thud. Let's apologize. Sorry, I didn't mean it, said the hero. Forget it. If you want to survive and don't mind helping me, go to the archives and bring me the old textbook on nuclear physics. I'm going to go there myself. I'm too afraid of bugs. Let's look for the book. Should you open it and forget it and get out of there? Um, let's get on with it. Oh, shoot. Saw a librarian. There's roaches. Lots of them. One of the bugs are a really huge one. Should I thrust at its leg? Crush it? Cut its head off? I should cut the roach's head. Beating the bugs with his other hand. When the roaches saw the leader dead, they scattered. As soon as the hero found the book, he heard the librarian's voice. I'm not a thank you, he said. Grab the book from the hero's hands. Let's go to the dining hall. Ooh, look at this. Impressive looking dining hall in the middle. He saw a well-laid table served with many dishes. Everything was nice and clean. A huge crystal chandelier hanging from the ceiling illuminated the wall. Someone was still living in there. There were several. What's, uh, what's in the door? Venture from some long hall with a glass ceiling used to be Lord's Oceanarium. Some glass is broken, so there's no water in the aquarium. But the hall itself was flooded up to the hero's waist. There's some boxes of the junk floating underneath. Uh, let's just go on. 
Hero went making his way until he saw a fin at the far end of the Oh, it was a shark. He was coming closer home, so they prepared to attack or evade. Let's dodge it. Oh, no. <laughs> I disappeared into the mouth. Let's attack. Prepare for the attack, and when the shark was close enough, stabbed it in the side, just avoiding its sharp teeth. When the shark went for the hero again, should he strike its head or throw one of the dresses flown around its snout? Throw a dress. Come around a moment, throw some stuff. Shark is finally dead. The adventure can go on its way. So nice. Whoa, aliens. Massive hollow hole. Among some rubble, we saw a large metal disc. What's up? There's sharks, aliens, roaches. What the hell? Let's let's talk. What's your name? Where do you come from? Asked the hero. Greetings, Earthland. I'm Zet, one of the Magikites, a human race. I deliver ammunition for Alien Tech Interstellar Corporation. In case you're not aware, there's a war going on between the Interstellar Confederation and the Free Planets Coalition. We're losing at the moment. We don't have enough weapons. Our corporation has commissioned hands at the local blacksmith to supply rockets. Come here, pick them up. Something went wrong. Crash into the wall. So, S. Why am I telling you this? It's like, okay, whatever. Should I help them? Let's help him. Well, it's done. The spaceship suddenly skidded towards the rebel towards the adventure. So, Warnford gives that, uh, thanks for your help. Just give me a shout when you need. Okay, I helped him. Next moment, the hero found himself in a spacious, luxurious room with a magnificent bed to the wall. Chamber Leo the Fourth himself. Venture felt some dark vibes coming from this place. Rummage the wardrobe or lie down and take a nap. Let's go through the wardrobe. Oh, look at this girl. Clothes everywhere, nothing been visible. Felt cold metal against his neck. He hadn't noticed the succubus had sneaked up behind him, set her throat. Now that he was dead, the hero could sleep as much as he liked. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there, guys. I think this game has a lot of replay value. I like choose your own adventure books and stuff like that. So to have one in a game like this, I think it's actually really worth it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this game. Is this something that you would want to check out? Is it something that you have checked out and you're like, meh? Or does this look like something that you can get behind? Also, throw some engagement. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.